No, his, uh, his promoter is in Thailand. Uh, I have a good relationship uh, with him. Um, HBO is definitely interested in bringing him back. So we'll have to see what, what they want to do. And uh, it's weird that he, he does uh, the fight with uh, Estrada right now. So that's a tremendous matchup. The way Estrada looked against Quadras. I mean, Rungvasai and Estrada is a, is a great matchup. Do you think, last question, do you think in a way, do you think in a way it was symbolic though? That in order to have these two youngish fighters put on an excellent performance, Chuck Zito's on his way out. Oh, Inouye put on a tremendous performance. The way Inouye looked, he lived up to his nickname, The Monster. He lived up to all, everything people were saying about him. The way he was able to take apart a world-class fighter like uh, Nieves was uh, a tremendous performance. So he's like the new star. This is the first fight on HBO, first fight in America. And uh, Inouye's definitely got to be in the top 10 uh, pound for pound fighters right now. Tom, what did you make of the end result for uh, Chocolatito versus Rangvise? Uh, what's your thoughts and emotions right now on the outcome? Uh, it was a shock seeing uh, Chocolatito on the canvas like that. You know, uh, you see such a dominant champion for so long, the uh, best pound for pound fighter in the world. And uh, to see him, you know, trying to get his title back and, and getting knocked out like that uh, was was really a shock for me and a surprise to see him, uh, you know, that that hurt on the canvas for.